What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching The Road to TF5. This is just a web series where we talk about Transformers 5. This is episode number 8. And what we're going to talk about in this video is we're going to follow up on that talk about what's going to happen to the future of the franchise and who's going to be directing and also who's not going to be directing. So there hasn't been a whole lot of news about who's going to be directing. So what I plan to do is narrow it down for you guys so that we can find out who's not going to be directing. Now, if you remembered in episode 7, we talked about the fact that Michael Bay's next movie is going to potentially be a, a military thriller. Okay, and it's not going to be Transformers 5. As a matter of fact, uh, this uh, solidifies the fact that Transformers 5 isn't coming in 2016. 2017 is more likely, maybe even 2018. I don't know, but I'm just letting you guys know that it looks like Michael Bay is not on board to be directing Transformers 5 as his next film. So we can rule out the fact that Michael Bay won't be directing Transformers 5 for 20, 2016, okay? As for who's not going to be directing, if you looked back in uh, The Road to TF5 Episode 5, I actually uh, listed a bunch of directors who are absolutely guaranteed not going to be directing Transformers 5 based on... The fact that they don't want to direct the Transformers film and also based on the fact that their their contracts with the current studios don't allow them to direct the Transformers film. And also, they're just their schedules just aren't free for a Transformers film. Okay, so let's just look at this list that I listed from uh, episode 5 and that is Steven Spielberg, Christopher Nolan, Peter Jackson, Guillermo del Toro, Ridley Scott, James Cameron, Zack Snyder, Roland Emmerich, J.J. Abrams, Justin Lin, Neil Blum, Blomkamp, and Matt Reeves. These directors are not going to be directing Transformers 5, okay? Now, let's take a look at part 2 of this list of what directors are not going to be directing Transformers 5. In no particular order, we're going to start off with Joss Whedon. I know a lot of people mentioned that they would love to see a, a live-action Transformers film directed by Joss Whedon. Ain't happening, okay? While we do know that Age of Exta uh, rather Tra Avengers Age of Ultron is coming out in 2015, he was actually very reluctant to direct another Avengers film. The main reason why is because it's a huge undertaking. Uh, he really didn't want to direct it because he knew that he would de be devoting another two and a half years of his life into one film and that would prevent him from directing uh, smaller projects, uh, projects that are not superhero or fanboy related or fangirl related. All right, so um, the fact is that Considering that he was reluctant to direct the uh, direct a, an Avengers sequel, what makes you think that he will want to direct another big film? Okay, you know these, these like I said these these huge movies are just monstrous undertakings. He's not going to want to go through that again. If he does end up directing Transformers Five, that means that he will have spent the last ten years of his life directing. Big budget blockbusters with tons of effects and explosions. Okay, so, excuse me. Uh, it is most likely in a very safe, safe bet that Joss Whedon will not be directing Transformers 5, okay? Moving on, we have Gareth Edwards, the director of Godzilla, which I thought was a pretty decent film. Uh, Gareth Edwards is not going to be directing Transformers 5. The main reason why is because he's going to be busy directing a Star Wars spinoff for 2016 and also Godzilla 2 for 2018. Therefore, there's absolutely no room in his schedule to be directing a Transformers sequel. Okay, not happening. Gareth Edwards is out of the picture. What about James Gunn? James Gunn uh, obviously is known for uh, the, the most, uh, I guess, the most uh, funnest movie of, of, of summer 2014, and that would be Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy was quite a huge crowd pleaser, and after people saw Guardians of the Galaxy with no expectations going into the movie, a lot of fans automatically thought that I would love to see James Gunn uh, be the director for Transformers 5. Also not happening. James Gunn uh, 
is having so much fun working with Marvel Studios, uh, there's no way he will want to jump on board the Transformers bandwagon. No way whatsoever. He's so excited to work on Guardians of the Galaxy 2, which is coming out in 2017, and he's already thinking about what he could do for Guardians of the Galaxy 3 for Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So there's no way in heck that James Gunn will be directing a Transformers sequel. Now, what about Joseph Kaczynski? Joseph Kaczynski has made a number of mediocre science fiction films, starting off with uh, Tron Legacy and also Oblivion. Um, but uh, it looks like he won't be directing any Transformers sequel, uh, mainly because the last time I read about anything uh, that he was working on was, was something that was actually not even science fiction related. Uh, he... He, I, I remember that he was working on something after Oblivion, uh, but uh, it wasn't confirmed what it was. But I, re I remember reading that it wasn't sci-fi related. Okay, so that's what's going on. I mean, uh, uh, he's going to be working on something like that, non-sci-fi related for a little bit. And then apparently it's possible that he will be working on Tron 3. Okay, so that's what's going on with Joseph Kaczynski. Now, what about Peter Berg? Peter Berg... Uh, um, uh, he directed Lone Survivor, which I thought was a, an amazing film, okay? Um, but Peter Berg also will not be directing Transformers 5. He is, he's not in the... Um, he's definitely not going to be directing, mainly because, uh, first of all, he has a, uh, he has a, 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 um, a contract with Universal, and it's just been announced that he will be working on a uh, remake of The Six Billion Dollar Man, starring Mark Wahlberg for a 2016 release. So that's the next movie that he's going to be working on, and he's going to be working that he's going to be working on that as soon as possible, considering it's going to be for a 2016 release. And by the way, you don't want Mark. I mean, you don't want Peter Berg working on a Transformers film. I mean, we saw what happened to uh, to Battleship. Okay, <laughs> Battleship was not a great movie, even though some people might thought it thought might have thought it was okay, but it just wasn't a really great movie and. And for for Peter Berg to handle a, a a or rather tackle a a a, a Michael Bay ish style film like Battleship, you know he, he didn't really do a good job with that. I mean, even for a superhero film, he didn't even do a good job with Hancock. I thought it was okay at best. He's better doing off. He's better off doing smaller action films like for example the rundown i thought the kingdom was superb and also lone survivor is probably my favorite film out of all the films he's ever directed so peter berg is peter berg is definitely not directing a uh, transformers film now there's a director that i i would like to see direct transformers 5 but there's just no word on on whether he would be attached or interested in something like that and that is john favreau Okay, John Favreau directed Iron Man One, Iron Man Two. He directed Cowboys vs. Aliens, uh, and uh, he's got a really good relationship with Paramount. After all, he's uh, he's uh, made a lot of money for Paramount. Then he went on to direct a a smaller film that he was very very passionate about. It's a bit of a passion project of his, and that was Chef, which I thought was a great character piece, and um, he did a really great great job with that. But I think that you know what. It's time for him to, I mean, he did his passion project. Now it's time for him to go back into directing uh, science fiction and fantasy films. And considering the fact that he's got nothing on a slate right now, I thought he would be a great candidate for a Transformers sequel. I'm hoping that Paramount Pictures reaches out to him and just says, Hey, John, we noticed that you're not working on anything at the moment. Uh, you obviously aren't working with Marvel Studios. So therefore, we'd like you to tackle our bigger, one of our uh, other popular franchises, and that would be Transformers. All right, what do you say? So I'm hoping that Paramount reaches out to John Favreau and um, ask him to direct the Transformers film, and hopefully he says yes. Alright, because I'd like to see him as a director for Transformers 5. I'd also like to see him uh, see J.J. Abrams to direct Transformers 5. You know, having J.J. Abrams is totally possible to direct Transformers 5. Once again, he's worked with Paramount Pictures a lot. And another thing is that he's got nothing going on after Star Wars. After Star Wars comes out uh, uh, in 2015 of December, there's nothing going on. And he could jump right into pre-production for Transformers 5 if his schedule permits it, which I think he it does because it's never been mentioned that he's working on anything else. 
Okay, the only thing on his mind right now is Star Wars. And once Star Wars is done, which is in 2015, um, he's probably going to be spending the next two months after that in January, February 2016 to promote it in other parts of the world. But after that, you know, there's time for him to work on Transformers 5 if pa Paramount were to approach him. All right, so my 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 uh, uh, um, uh, dream directors for uh, for Transformers 5 would be... Uh, uh, John Favreau and J.J. Abrams. They're the ones that are most possible. As for directors like Justin Lin and Matt Reeves, I'd really like them to see them direct another one, but uh, Justin Lin is working on True Detective and a Kung Fu movie, and then Matt Reeves is working on the Dawn of the, uh, Dawn of the Planet of, of the Apes sequel, so that leaves us with John Favreau and J.J. Abrams, which I actually don't think is going to happen. I'd like to see it happen, but I don't think it's going to happen. So what does this come down to? Well, I'm going to give you three options that is going to happen, and that is... Michael Bay is going to come back to direct Transformers 5 after he's directed his uh, military thriller, thriller, considering that in three years he can direct two movies just like he directed Pain and Gain and, and Transformers Age of Extinction all within a period of three years, okay? I'm expecting Paramount Pictures to ask Michael Bay to direct Transformers 5 right after he's done directing his military drama. You know what? They want him back, okay? He's not. They're not going to not ask him, okay? The second thing is that if Michael Bay says no, the next guy to take his place is Jonathan Liebesman, which I think is just a really bad idea, okay? Uh, sure, he directed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and he made a lot of money for Paramount Pictures, bringing in $400 million worldwide for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but that doesn't mean it was like a really great movie or anything, <laughs> You know, and, and I and I know why they would approve they would approach a guy like Jonathan Liebesman just because Jonathan Liebesman is actually one of Michael Bay's protege, and Michael Bay totally can vouch for this guy. Okay, but I just I, I just don't find any of his movies that great. Okay, Wrath of the Titans was 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 not great. A uh, 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 Battle L A was just uh, like oh man, it was. It was just bearable. Uh, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was only only worked mainly because the performances of the turtles were great. Okay, uh, but other than that, I thought his action direction wasn't very good. I think that he was just trying to replicate Michael Bay's style, but uh, you can tell that it, he 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 wasn't able to replicate it a hundred percent. But anyways, it looks like Jonathan Liebesman would be the next choice. The third choice is a complete no name, a complete nobody, somebody we've never heard of but is a fan of the source material. Now this would be 100% ideal. This would be 100% ideal to me. If they couldn't get Jan Favreau, they couldn't get J.J. Abrams, they couldn't get Michael Bay, and they most likely uh, 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 won't end up with, uh, they most likely couldn't get Jonathan Liebesman, even though they could get Jonathan Liebesman. I think that the best uh, best uh, uh, choice for me personally would to be get would be to get a complete no name who is just a fan of the the, the source material. Maybe he's directed some short films in the past, like a couple of commercials and music videos, and maybe some smaller indie films. But then he was good at telling a story with both good characters and a great story. And then he also loves the source material. That could be a great director. Now, what's great about having a no name director is that you have no expectations. Okay, if it's if it's good or if it's bad, then there's a justified reason of why it's good or why it's bad. It was bad because he's never directed a big budget uh, motion picture before. And it was good because he's never directed a big budget motion picture before. You know what I'm saying? Either way, it's justifiable. But if you get guys like, if you bring on, bring back guys like Michael Bay, you have expectations. If you bring, uh, bring on guys like Jonathan Liebesman, you have expectations. Okay. Now, but if you bring on a, a, a complete nobody, you don't know what to expect. Okay, so I'd actually rather they bring on someone that we've never heard of and that is my personally best best choice for the direction on, on who they should pick for a director for Transformers 5. It's got to be someone that I've never even heard of but at least likes the source material and at least grew up with the source material and understands the characters and the whole concept behind Robots in Disguise. Okay, that's how I feel about it and hopefully this is the direction that the Paramount Pictures goes for. All right. Even though I know that their 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 first choice will of course be Michael Bay, their second choice will be Jonathan Liebesman. And if they get directors like J.J. Abrams or John Favreau, they're gonna pay them. They're gonna have to pay them a bet, like a pretty high fee. All right.
So there you have it. That's all I got to say in this video. What do you guys think? Um, I'm going to leave you with three options. Uh, what do you think is the best choice? Have Michael Bay back for Transformers 5? Have Jonathan Liebesman back for Transformers 5? Or have a completely new director to direct the fifth installment of Transformers? Let me know in the comment section below. Oh yeah, by the way, the poll is still going on. The poll on, 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 uh, on, on the fate of who's going to be directing Transformers 5 and who's going to be taking care of all the creative duties uh, is, is, is still up. I want you to click on the link on the description box below and place in your votes because the poll is still active. And uh, let's see where this goes. If we can bring any of the votes to five digits, we can actually make a difference. Okay, so uh, click on it. You can see where the results are standing at right now and to make your contribution. All right, that's all I got to say in this video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also, follow me on Twitter at Rage Nation. My name is Alex. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Probably a little more straightforward and simple, simpler than uh, Optimus Prime and the process, but ultimately I was responsible for the build with prefix.